beautiful, 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 beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm a weirdo, man. What's good? What's good? Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I knew I was going to say that. I knew I was going to say it. I told myself I wasn't going to say it like that, but I had to say it like that, bro. You're beautiful, 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 beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm going to make a song called Beautiful, bro, and just be like, you're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. You're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. You're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, you're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hey, don't be bopping over there. You bopping too hard. Chill, bro. It's too early with your, hey, you're a wild one. You're a wild one. You're a wild one. What's up, fam? What's good? What's good? Supreme Rises, fam. How you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling amazing. Grand Rising fam, I love you as well. Grand Rising fam, how you feeling? What's good? Yeah, you're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. You're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. Hey, chill, yo. Chill, bro. Chill, man. Not today, man. Not today. We're chilling, bro. It's a beautiful day outside, man. It's supposed to be like 60 degrees where I'm at. Like 60 degrees with a sun sunshine forecast, you know? And I'm here for it. I'm here for it, bro. I'm here for it. Like, I'm here for it. I've been over here contemplating, do I want the grass cutter to come and cut my grass? Because my grass is looking so good growing, bro. It's like growing so uniquely all over my yard. And I'm like, bro, if my grass cutter come and cut it, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be killing the damn growth. You know what I'm saying? But am I being too extraordinary? Like, am I being too extraordinary, bro? Like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't know. I know a lot of people will say, like, it's just grass, Tony. What the fuck? But me, I'm like, yo, that's an extension of myself, nigga. Like, I want myself to grow. I want myself to expand myself. You know what I'm saying? And we over here just cutting the grass and shit. Like, that shit ain't even a part of us and shit. I'm like, damn. I'm like, damn, that shit tough, baby. That's tough, baby. That's tough, baby. But, hey, you know, I do what I got to do. You feel me? Let it grow. I want to, fam. I can, too, if I want to. For real. That's the thing. I, I feel like we put limits on ourselves based off the words that we speak, and I've been working on that very dearly. It means a lot to me, but at the same time, I, I live life very effortlessly. But at the same time, I understand that my words can trap my consciousness, and then I could be living in a state unconsciously trapped in my own word. So, yes, the grass is allowed to grow at its own accord, and it can grow as long as it wants to. That shit is wild. But that shit works with every concept of life. I feel like us as a collective, we trap ourselves using these words and then go about life unconsciously in that identity of which we've spoken already. But don't remember. Don't remember the words that were spoken, yet they were spoken in a very unconscious manner. And we live within them unconsciously. That's why we don't be free as we're supposed to be. That's why we don't live as free as we're supposed to, like, live. And I would only say that, like, Man, that shit's crazy. That shit's beautiful, though, because I'm not going to lie. A lot of people was, you know, starting to click because consciousness is becoming aware of itself. You know, and the only reason why I'm, the only reason why I could be aware of such concepts is because I was allowed or I was given the opportunity to become conscious of this new reality that I'm in. You know what I'm saying? Of just consciousness being aware of itself. That shit's crazy. And that was an allowance. Like, I was allowed because I'm understanding how premeditated life is, bro. Like, you don't blink on your own accord. You don't shit on your own accord. You don't even think on your own accord. Your thoughts are given to you from the higher realms of thyself. There is a higher you that's, that we call God, that we call spirit, that gives you thoughts in order to get this realm in a non-dualistic state. And that's where we receive all the thoughts from. You know what I'm saying? Receive them from God, source, or whatever the case may be because you are an extension of the creator and you receive them in a lower realm in which the creator is operating itself. And the only reason why you are doing so is to get the creator in a non-dualistic non state with itself. To balance itself out all the way from the crown to the chakra. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to the root chakra. And all you have to do is live your life. <laughs> There is no specific duty that you have to do or fulfill to get the higher realms, you know what I'm saying, to be in alignment with you. It's rather the opposite way around. You have to live more authentically and more like true to your experience in order to be of service to thyself. 
you know, we want to say like, yeah, you, of course you can go out there and say, have a good day to somebody and you can pick up the trash in your neighbor's yard and you can do a nice deed for the world, bro. But if you're not being true and authentic to yourself, are you truly being of service to the most high that lives within you? You know, are you saying what you feel? Are you meaning what you say? Are you doing what you feel? Are you doing what you say you'll do? That's truly being of service to the most high that lives within you because everything is so premeditated and your thoughts are being given to you from the most high within you. If you if you silence your intuition or, or your gut on what you truly are feeling, it's like being of disservice to the most high. Somebody told me yesterday, it was like, y'all want to attract friends into my life, like, you know what I'm saying, attract like-minded people into my life. And I, I fuck with this. It was a beautiful, it was a beautiful moment, you know what I'm saying, to have. At the same time, I understood the only way to attract the people that you want in your life is to be 100% the real version of you to every version of you outside of self. You have to show everybody your real side outside of yourself. I mean, uh, no matter who it is, your grandma, you got to get you got to get the people out of the categories and put them right there as just like, yo, we're equal. My mama and me is equal. Everybody's equal because we're all characters. You have to stop contradicting the fact that you don't know nothing about this experience and that everybody is just being painted from your neuronic system, your nervous system. You have to not you have to sit, sit on certain facts that you don't know nothing. So you're going to and then and then I want you to think about where are my thoughts coming from? Why am I being certain? If I know nothing, then where are my thoughts coming from? Where are they coming from? You know, there's, a, there's this concept that I have in my life personally where I don't hold myself dear to it. It just resonates very, it, it resonates very deeply. I believe that we receive thoughts at the vibrational frequencies in which we are experiencing life. I believe that you are giving thoughts certain at a certain level in your life in which you are vibrating at a certain frequency to help you evolve spiritually, to help you evolve as consciousness. But it's given to you from a higher realm at the level in which you are vibrating. You see? So I believe that I am still being given certain thoughts right now to speak unto you, but I am being given them in which I am vibrating at the frequency right now to say these words, to speak these words. Because every word that I'm speaking is a vibration. Everything is vibrational. But you have to be vibrating at a certain frequency to even understand what I'm saying because you yourself is vibrating at a certain frequency to experience life itself. What frequency are you vibrating at? I wouldn't be able to tell you because I'll be having to get caught up in an ego of saying something that I truly know that I don't know. The only best way I could be of service to somebody is by truly being my vibrational frequency and doing what I feel and feeling how I feel and just being who I am. Because I understand that it was all premeditated, but it was also designedly meant for me to do so. Because the thoughts are being given to me from a higher realm and they're being given and I'm the receiver. But there is something already doing all this for me to just experience life. So if I come up in the room and I care about what you think, care about what she thinks, care about what he thinks and all that stuff, I'm not being true to my vibrational frequency. I'm not helping nobody heal. When you walk into a room, you're not walking into a room. You're walking into something that your nervous system is paying. Everything is vibrational frequencies. Everything is giving off a vibrational frequency that even exists in this third dimensional realm that we are, we are experiencing right now. This physical, this physical, it's a vibrational frequency. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's vibrating to even be here. You know what I'm saying? So you are vibrating to even be here. When you go into a room, you are emitting energy. You are giving off energy based off your vibrational frequency without you even talking just for being here. Just for being here. You don't have to say a word. How much have you healed your vibration? How much have you allowed your vibration to be liberated? You know what I'm saying? How much have you listened to the creator that gives you your thoughts? How much have you trusted that with your intuition despite what your eyes are looking at? But what your heart is saying. How many times have you truly listened to your heart? For sure. Because what your eyes might be seeing is a damn jungle. But what your heart is saying, go up in there, you'll be free. Go up in there, you'll be free. Here's a thought right here. You Maybe you should go up in there. Where the fuck are these thoughts coming from? And what, now I'm not, I'm not going to lie. When we live in a collective, like a collective, it seems to be because we're still, we still have some uh, characters living in a very non-dualistic state until they click onto the vibration inevitably because they have to return to which they came. Um, as we live amongst the collective, I cannot control my next door neighbor if I walk outside my door 
and the next door neighbor is like, uh, yeah, shut your fucking mouth, you asshole. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't control that. The same way that you can't control some thoughts that slip into your paradigm and you don't know where it came from. You know what I'm saying? You will receive low vibrational thoughts, but that's where they say use your discernment. Because you will see, you're feeling amazing today. You're feeling really good today. You're going to receive some high vibrational thoughts, bro. You're going to feel something that builds that momentum. But then out of nowhere, somebody might hit the remote controller and knock that shit to the damn corner. Like, why the fuck they do that, man? I should tell that person about themselves. Where the fuck that thought come from in this positive environment that you have created yourself? That's why I believe that we are all interconnected. You are still receiving other vibrational frequencies other than your own, bro. But you use your discernment to stay at a certain in tune. Stay in tune. Stay in a certain alignment with the vibrational frequency that you like to experience at your own free will. Quote, unquote, free will. You know what I'm saying? You get to choose what frequency you want to experience this vibrational frequency in. That's basically what I'm saying. And you're going to receive thoughts that's in different frequencies, bro. But you get to use your discernment to stay, like, dish that damn thought and stay in alignment with the thoughts that are keeping you in your certain frequency. This is the most valuable way to be a service to the most high is to know thyself, bro. <laughs> And evolve thyself and raise the frequency and raise the vibration of frequency to the point where it's like, it's not an item or anything. It's more so all internally. And it's more so has to do with listening to the creator. Your thoughts are being given. That's what I really want to point out. Your thoughts are being given and you are the receiver. Your eyes are blinking for you and you are the awareness of it. Your digestive system is already making the shit and already doing whatever. And you are the awareness of it, but you ain't doing shit. You just looking at your eyes blink. You looking at you have to go to the bathroom. You looking at your, you just drink water and they go to the right intestine and shit. You looking at this shit, but you ain't doing shit. So why do we stress about life? We shouldn't. We should live. Live life and don't attach our thoughts that are being given to us that we do not, do not resonate with no more. Don't attach yourself to it. Just observe it. Let it be there and let it flow out your brain, bro. And then when a the thought come in your head, it be like, I love myself. You know what? I'm happy. Bro, you build the fucking momentum because you just now received that thought from a higher dimension, in, bro. A higher realm. Don't be building the momentum on thoughts that cannot do you any, of any service in the present moment of thyself. It's not about anybody else, dog. It's not about anybody. There's only one God. And it can't contradict that self. Can't contradict that shit by saying, oh, it's them, her, they, they. Man, fuck all that. It's only one God, bro. It's only one God, bro. That broke itself in the extensions of everything. But there's only one God, bro. Once you get in tune with that one God, bro, you're doing real service, bro. You're doing real service. You don't care about what the fuck this world think about you. If, if that God inside of you tell you that it's up on something, it's up. That can't be explained. That got to be lived. That's the way you be a real service. That's the way you be a real service. Because anybody out here being just positive, bro, they can still be in their damn ego being positive. Because being positive and being negative is just an illusion. Being good or being bad is just an illusion. What God is telling you to do, though, my nigga? <laughs> What God is telling you to do, my man, you might have to break her heart. You might have to break his heart. You might tell him, nah, fuck that, nigga. You don't treat me like that today, bro. Fuck you talking about? And fuck you, you know what I'm saying, for treating me like that. The God inside of you is telling you to stand up stand up for business, bro. It don't got to make sense for this out of, like, out of illusion, bro, this matrix. It don't got to make fucking sense to them. God ain't talking to them through you. Like, bro, God is talking to you right now. God is going to talk to them when it's time to violence. Man, you don't know what the fuck's going on outside of yourself, don't you? You get tongue-tied. You don't know what the fuck is going on outside of yourself because you can't control that shit. But you can control how you go to sleep at night. <laughs> you can make sure you go to sleep good at night. I don't care how many times you go and apologize to him, her, they, or she. Nigga, you still can't decide if they sleep good at night. <laughs> but you can make sure that you go to sleep good at night. And God's not gonna sing you for that shit, bro. You ain't gonna get you ain't gonna get your ass whooped for that shit, bro. Nigga, tell these niggas how it is, bro. But be your most loving self, your most compassionate self. Cause I'm not gonna lie, my creator, that's how my creator talks to me. With compassion, love, and unconditional love, and no judgmental energy. No judgmental energy. No, I'm not better than you, but you're not gonna stop my identity for shit. 
If I'm at her feeling like a damn sunflower, and I want to feel like a fucking yeah, 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 and I want to just be my weird self, you're not going to try to captivate my consciousness due to your own insecurities in which you are projecting in an unconscious state. Bro, I'm going to have compassion and love for that, but I'm going to show my identity because that's what God inside of me is telling me to do. Fuck what this world is saying about you, dog. Fuck what this world ever will say about you, bro. They're going to always have something to say about you because low-key on the inside, they're dealing with something way deeper than you, bro. Because Use that shit with empathy. When you hear somebody say something that you don't like about yourself, bro, have empathy. Have empathy, bro. Because you was once them, bro, that did not understand the deeper depths of life and how premeditated this shit is with the most high creator. You ain't understand how real God is. They, they might not either, bro. But they got to authentically live out their journey to have that sense of gratitude to which you already have right now. So you got to allow people to live with empathy, bro. You got to allow people to live with a deep compassion, bro. Because you understand when they look back on their journey, they're going to be like, damn, this shit a journey for real, ain't it? <laughs> with just me and God. Ain't it beautiful? It's me and, you gonna hear them say the same shit your ass said, bro. You can't mess this shit up for them, but you can't stop your show either, my nigga. Nigga, you can't mess this shit up for them, but you can't stop your show. If you don't be your damn self, you gonna be in disservice to the most high. So how you gonna do when you hear that music come on in, in, inside your intuition tells you, oh, it's a crowded room up in here. You got niggas drinking. You got niggas smoking. But inside of you, it's telling you go to the dance floor and get, like, go shake your tail feather. Because you know that you are a soul in a fucking body and you should be out here experiencing life despite. Nigga, you better go over there to the motherfucking gym floor. I mean, you better go to the middle floor and just shake your ass because that's going to be a service to them. God, yeah, it might sound very simplistic, but bro, this shit can expand. You know I can expand that shit. I'm going to keep it on a fun level, though. You better go out there and dance, bro. You better go out there and dance, bro. Because that's listening to your intuition despite what your eyes are seeing. Your intuition is telling you how to play the game. And the only way that you're going to experience the new levels is through your nervous system, through your sensational feel or how you're feeling life, how you feel in life. You don't need this to be happy. You don't need that to be happy. Why? Because you are rich in your sensations that are being painted from your nervous system, bro. You are just happy to be alive because you followed your intuition into this heaven. Niggas won't be listening to their intuition, not understanding that it's only guiding them into the kingdom of heaven that lies within them. God is only doing like this to you. I love you. Yeah, be yourself. Tell them how you feel. Come on. Yep, tell them how you feel. I love you. Yep, like life's not certain. Tell them how you, come on. To the kingdom of heaven that's within you, bro. You got to stand on that shit, though. If you go up in the room, you're like, man, should I say that? Should I say this? Who the fuck are you talking to? Who are you asking questions to? Should I, should I do that? Should I say this? Should I do that? Should I? Nigga, just do it because that thought was given to you from the higher realms, bro. That thought was given to you from God. Either that shit resonates and you fucking feel like you should say it or it don't resonate. Don't be sitting there talking to the damn thin air, nigga. Who the fuck you talking to? For real. Like, bro, you be sitting there like, should I do this? Should I go up in there and tell him how I feel? <clears throat> Eating your damn snack in the car and shit. You know that manager disrespected you. You know the way that manager came about, the energy was just disrespectful. And they're living in a certain type of conscious space only because you allowed them to. You know that shit. But have deep empathy for them so you don't go in there and cuss their ass out. You ain't got to go in there and cuss their ass out. Because that's not empathy, bro. That's not showing no empathy or compassion. But I'm going to go in here and let you know how I feel, though. Hey, hey, how you doing, buddy? Hey, how you doing, buddy? Hey, look, bro, I love the way you do your thing out here. I love the way, but I don't like the way you treat me like this. If you would not treat me like this, that would be highly appreciated. I would not allow that to go on any further. <laughs> fuck you mean Very professional I ain't come up here and say Yo fuck you bitch What the fuck you say to me earlier What you say to me earlier What you say to me earlier What you, you, you say to me earlier I ought to I ain't come in there like that I came in there very controlled On my God shit Hey excuse me sir I love the way you do your job I'm not saying that you're doing anything wrong But I don't like how you particularly Talk to me earlier I, I don't even know how to communicate I don't like how you talk to me earlier You know And I don't like how that rubbed off on me And I will appreciate that you not do that like anymore because I would not allow for it to be done. I would not allow that shit. I don't even care if it come out slip sloppy. Nigga, I said it. You know what I'm saying? I don't even care if it come out slip sloppy. Niggas that go to sleep not even saying what the fuck they feel because they don't know how to fucking say it. Nigga, I said it. I said it. Might not have been the best choice of words. It's better I can go to sleep tonight. That person going through all day because they don't know how to fucking say nothing. They don't know how to say nothing, so they scared to even speak. 
That, so when they come to work the next day, I'm going to treat them like shit. I know that person right there don't know how to speak for themselves. That person don't got no damn balls. Now, I don't know what the... Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> little, little mother, Go give me a damn drink out the motherfucking snack machine. You little motherfucker. Like, bro, that's how they be treating niggas. And I seen that shit with my third eye, bro. I seen how, how like, energy that's more confidence on themselves. How they yo-yo the energy that's not, like, that aware of itself. I'm letting you know, bro. If I'm talking to you on the side of the screen, bro, say that shit if your voice shakes, nigga. And I bet you any energy that feel like they got a control of you, bro, they gonna stop. They gonna stop. They're playing a divine purpose, bro. They're only playing a purpose for you to gain more confidence of thyself because there is no other than you. There is no such thing as them, they, her, or she. If somebody is treating you a certain way outside of yourself and you become triggered by that, listen to your damn intuition, bro. Your intuition is not going to tell you to go over there and kill the nigga. But your intuition is going to tell you, hey, bro, leave the room. Tell him how you feel or something. Like, bro, find the words to fucking say, but this shit can't go on. <laughs> nigga. And your ass would be like this. Your ass would be like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Faking and shit. Nigga, you know they over, you know you don't fuck with this damn vibe. You still over there trying to be somebody's friend, though. <laughs> yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. They just said you skinny as hell. Bro, you skinny as fuck, look like a damn stick, look like a little stick ass little boy. You over there like this. <laughs> yeah, bro, it don't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, nigga, you know your intuition is saying something different. They are not giving you friendship energy. Why are you not speaking this? Because you know that your voice is about to shake because you're not used to communicating. That's why they call it communicating skills. It takes a skill. It's a practice to learn how to communicate even when your voice shakes. So you can find the next words to control your nervous system. So you can find the next words in the next time it happens to say like, yo, chill. I love myself. Y'all tripping. <laughs> Y'all tripping. What? Man, I'm about to bounce anyway, bro. Y'all tripping up in here, bro. Bro. You know how that came out so smooth? Because of repetitious acts, repetitious acts of my subconscious mind being aware of me stand up for my fucking self. So now I'm able to communicate that shit. But if you don't do it when your voice shakes, are you ever going to build the repetition? Are you ever going to start the repetition? Everybody be like, well, I'm not, I'm not like you, Tony. I'm not like, nigga, I wasn't like this. I wasn't like this. Go look at my old videos. I was never always this confident. I had to build the repetition and start the repetition because I understand how the subconscious mind works. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be confident, you got to be, you got to be confident. The fuck? Ain't no, if you want to be shy, you're going to be shy. Unc like, bro, you're going to be shy. Oh, that's a rabbit. <laughs> Yo, I see a little rabbit, dude. <laughs> that shit fire. But if you want to be shy, you're going to be shy, bro. Unconsciously, because that's how you came up in here, bro. I've always been shy. I've always, because you never got uncomfortable to speak up for your fucking self. I bet, you, I bet once you speak up for your fucking self about 15 times, you ain't going to be that shy person no more. You might get, hey, and tie the loaf of bread up. What you doing? I think I'm like, damn, when did, when did she start speaking so loud? <laughs> when did she start speaking so loud? The fuck? Like, bro, and then I bet you life shifts itself due to your new identity of self. It has no choice. That's how the quantum field works. It vibrates and attracts itself to stuff of its liking, bro, to stuff of its nature. Once you start stepping up for yourself and holding yourself accountable, then how you communicate to this world, you take control of, you take your power back. <laughs> you take your power back. Like, yeah, I'm alive, baby. Bro, and nobody can tell you shit. Nobody can tell you shit because right when they say something, you got the confidence to still feel like exactly what the fuck you said. Alive. Tony, shut the hell up. You can't be that positive all the time. Nigga, you are outside of myself. Nigga, God lives within me. What the fuck you talking about, my boy? <laughs> you see that, bro? Hit him with that flavor. Make a nigga be like, damn, that nigga still happy as I... He is happy as I fucking said before I even said what I said. He got more happier off the momentum, off the energy I just gave him. Motherfucker, I'm an alchemist. I'm a master alchemist and a transmuter, baby. <laughs> you know my name? Like, bro, you know my name? I'm a master alchemist. Go look that word up. Go look that fucking word up. And go look up how, go look about everything is energy. And go look up transmutation. <laughs> I'm a master. <laughs> what are you talking about? You just gave me some energy to use for my fucking self. 
Hey, Tony, what the fuck, you weirdo ass motherfucker? Hey, you talking about my boy? I fucking love myself, my boy. You tripping? Chill. Like, bro. Fuck you talking about? I'll take your energy and use that shit for my personal experience of life. Fuck you mean? It still won't make you feel like shit because I understand how deeply connect interconnected we are. I'm going to just show you and be a service to you by still being my authentic self and showing you that you never shake my boat, you never can rock my boat, and you never can turn my boat for God lives within my boat and the only person that's riding this shit is God. <laughs> I'm enjoying the damn ride of life. I'm enjoying the ride of life. You can't stop shit. They never can stop shit because this shit never started and it never will end. I never was born and I never can die. I'm only here in the present moment forever as long as I'm consciously aware of it. Nigga, this shit ain't gonna stop. <laughs> this shit ain't gonna stop. We in the infinite, baby. Like it or not. <laughs> and if you don't like it, you're going to get your ass a karma cycle and you're going to like this shit. You're going to like this shit. If you don't like this shit, you're going to get a karma cycle. You're going to like this shit. <laughs> you got to loosen your grip of this shit. You're too serious, bro. This happened to me. This happened to me or this happened to her. Nigga, you don't exist. You don't exist. You never existed, bro. You gave yourself a name and a whole damn identity, but you are a soul in a fucking body. You are a soul in a fucking body. Nigga, this happened to me. This happened. Maybe if you let go of your fucking shit, you'll be in the present moment. Maybe if you let go of all that shit that you're talking about just to make you feel at a certain vibration, feel fucking shitty about yourself. Maybe if you do that and let that go, you'll come back to the present moment in which already existed before you even built that on top of yourself. You get to go to your real self. Your real self. You got to let that shit go, though. So that means Jerry didn't come over and steal no money from you. That was a figment of your neuronic system. That was that never happened. The next door neighbor never threw a rock at you. That never happened. Um, none of that shit ever happened because you're living in the present moment. None of that shit ever happened. None of that shit ever happened. Is it happening right now? So none of that shit ever happened. It was painted by your nervous system that it happened, but it's not happening right now. Therefore, it never happened. Stop giving that shit any power and you will see all the blessings that God got for you in the present moment. You would go outside and the birds be chirping and like, bro, you'd be loving that shit. It'd be sound like music to your ears, nigga. Why? Because your senses, your sensations, bro, you're becoming more in tune with your sensations instead of with your mind. Get out your fucking mind and get more in tune that you are a human, bro. You are a fucking human, my nigga. You're supposed to be, a, you're supposed to be happy when you touch shit. You go feel something soft. You put like, ooh, a little softy. I'm a little soft. You don't even act fucking, you don't even act like that when you feel some soft sweaters or something. Your ass start looking at the soft sweater and be like, nigga, this shit is made out of, this shit is made out of chemical material. Nigga, I'm touching the damn soft, like, talk, soft shit and I'm like, like, bro, this shit feel good. I put that shit on my back. I put that shit on my man, man, fuck that shit. I wear that whole shit on my legs and shit. <laughs> nigga, the fuck you talking about? Bro, here to simply experience the nervous system. Here to experience the nervous system listening to my intuition being guided so I don't fucking corrupt this motherfucker. <laughs> Because you can come into the game and I feel like your ass can go ahead and press in. Like, bro, I'm done with this shit. Tap out. You know what I'm saying? Like, but there's a voice inside of you that's giving you shit. Like, no, I already premeditated this journey for you. Come on, listen to me and I'm going to show you how this shit is a beautiful journey. It's a beautiful game. You are a soul inside of a body and this is a game that's premeditated for you for you to experience abundance of all things. As a co-creator. Wake up with this energy every day, bro. If you gotta fake it till you make it, bro. You gonna see what I'm talking about. You just can't give a fuck. You can't give a fuck. You can't, that's the secret, bro. If you wanna be happy, you be fucking happy. The fuck? Stop making these little ass excuses of not being happy and the reason why you're not happy because you're stuck in your ego. <laughs> it gotta be exactly how you fucking see fit. Nigga, you ain't even blinking for yourself. Nigga, chill. <laughs> Why you acting like you God for real? Like, why you acting like this shit really got to be exactly how you see fit when you ain't even blinking for yourself? You ain't even giving yourself your thoughts. You're not even taking your own shits and working with your doc. Bro, this shit is happening for you. Maybe if you just go back to the silent state of no time and no none of that shit and realize, like, you know what I'm saying? You'll come back to this reality and realize, like, damn, my lights might be off, but shit. I got some candles in that motherfucker. This shit is probably teaching my ass how to, like, really live in the balance of having and not having. You know what I'm saying? Then this shit really beautiful. Next thing you know, your lights will flicker back on. Damn, the lights came right back on. That's crazy, bro. 
You acting like we ain't living with a creator and the only reason why you're able to experience a room itself is because you are aware of it. Other than that, the room don't fucking exist. You know that, right? Only thing that exists is what you are aware of it here in this conscious realm. Other than that, you are in a fucking simulation of where that shit don't even exist. You know that, right? But you got to go. The only way that you can truly know that is by letting your mind let go of the grip of time, my nigga. Time is the spell that's casted over your ass. You work a damn job. You do your job on a certain day. You go to your job on a certain day. But one day you got to be like, bro, I'm making enough money to pay the bills. Nigga, fuck this place. I do Uber, nigga. I do Uber, whatever the fuck I do, bro. You making enough money to pay the bills, bro? Get off of that time schedule shit. You know what I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking to? You know where I'm channeling from? You know where I'm channeling from? That's the most important thing. You know where I'm channeling from? The time schedule shit keeps you in that paradigm, rather you like it or not, bro. You getting up at a certain time. You doing things on a certain time. A lot of y'all be doing shit on schedules. Y'all work out on schedules. Y'all still looking at the fucking clock. Throw away the fucking clock, nigga. I dare you and see what your subconscious mind does when it let go of the grip of time. See what happens. Don't take my word for it. Demonstrate it in your own fucking life and see what happens, bro. Get your mind off of time. I ain't worked a job in two years, bro. God's giving, bro. You know I'm grateful. But I was going to do that shit even if I had to sell the pound, my nigga. <laughs> I'm going to be very transparent on this damn live, nigga. That shit was going to happen. Because <laughs> I said so. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, it don't resonate with my spirit to have another man tell me when to go to work and tell me when to do shit. And you don't treat me like a king or a god when I go up in there. Nigga, we business partners. Fuck you talking about. Nigga, your ass treat me like a worker for real, motherfucker. Like, nigga, we business partners. If I don't work in this motherfucker, this shit go to the ground. No, I'll get somebody else to... That's the fucking problem. Us as a people need to stick together so they can't treat us like any way, bro. We should feel like God when we walk up in there, and we should feel like God when we leave. If we don't feel like God when we walk up in there, and God when we leave, then something is fucking wrong, nigga. They got some favoritism going on in this motherfucker. And the, and the realm that I live in is of equality. God loves everything. The most high is a reflection of all of us. But the only way that we can change this shit is by listening to our intuition and speaking even when our voice shakes, nigga. You see somebody get treated bad up in your damn workplace, nigga, and they treat them unfair, bro, you just speak up for that shit, nigga. Fuck a paycheck, nigga. God is my paycheck. Fuck you talking about? I believe in the creator. Nigga, that little paper-ass money don't mean shit, bro. You treating my motherfucking extension of self like shit, bro. And you telling me because of a piece of paper I'm not supposed to speak up about it? You got me fucked up. For if I don't speak up about it, you would think as a collective, we're not standing side by side. But I come to tell you that you have been misguided. Bro, we're standing side by side out this motherfucker. We're standing side by side out uh, Bro, what the fuck you thought? Hey, nigga. Yeah, that sister don't know me, but she know we share the same creator. What the fuck you talking about? Yeah, that brother don't know me, but we share the same creator. And you're acting in a dualistic state, brother. <laughs> you're acting dualistic as fuck. And we don't like that vibrational feel because we're all in a non-dualistic state. We're all a part of each other. We're all operating in one collective consciousness in the physical. So don't be treating like that person like they're not equal, bro. Because we work in jobs or whatever the fuck. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. And they don't treat you like a king or a god up in there, nigga. You better than me, bro. And kudos to you. But I, I'll set a pound, nigga. <laughs> I'll set a pound before a nigga be just doing shit, bro. That's me. I'm just grateful for this life I'm living. But uh, I'm going to be real with you. It, I got a time in my heart where I was like, I'm not getting up at 7 o'clock in the morning, 7 o'clock in the damn rising and be just treated like a number. You know what I'm saying? Like, the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I'll find this way out my own way. i do this shit my own way. And that's when it really got real. That's when I, that faith of a mustard seed came in. I quit my job and I was like, bro, I'm going to have faith, nigga. I got $1,200 rent. You know I never paid this much rent in my motherfucking life, nigga. Where I'm from is $500 rent, bro. $500 rent, nigga. So with my royalties and whatever the fuck was coming in, bro, I had to make more money shake on Uber, whatever the fuck I was doing, bro. But I bet you what? That fucking rent paid, and I bet you I'm still in it, bro. You heard me? I bet you I ain't worked a job in two years, nigga. <sighs> I ain't know if I could do it. I ain't think I could do it. I ain't know what the fuck. Nigga, I said, I'm tired, though. I'm tired, though. I'm tired, though. Y'all niggas making me get up at 7 o'clock, making me get up at 7 o'clock, 10 o'clock, go to bed at 9 o'clock, and then I gotta live my life and give everybody my fucking energy, nigga. I am source experiencing itself. I'm fucking tired of that shit. The moment you say fucking fuck that shit, bro, 
is the moment God gonna open up the doors because jobs is a scam, bro. Jobs are a scam, bro. They keep you in a paradigm just like school is a scam. It keeps you in a time paradigm, my nigga. You know this shit. We always thought it was about the introdu indoctrination within the school. No, it's the fact that they got your ass showing up at a certain time and leaving at a certain time. That's all. That's all. That's the problem right there. Nigga. It's the time that we are believing in that our subconscious mind is so we can't witness all of our DNA activation. <laughs> we can't witness our true powers of the neuronic system. How much can you tap into your brain really? I don't know. Your brain fucking believe in time and a process. Your brain believes in time and a process. And that was indoctrinated to you. That's not the truth, bro. You should have full access to all this, but your brain believes in time and a process. Maybe if you let your brain let go of that shit, let go of that shit, like fuck, this, fuck all y'all, what y'all telling me to do, then you're going to experience more of your neuronic system, and when you walk past a flower, you're going to actually stand and smell that motherfucker. You're going to go and smell that motherfucker flower instead of being a rush to the wherever you're going. You know what I'm saying? This world is going. This world is falling right now. Even with me speaking like this, I understand the only reason why I'm able to speak like this because I gained a certain type of awareness myself. So if I gained a certain type of awareness myself, and everything is as, as within, so without, that means internally my experience is becoming conscious of itself. It's only a matter of time, and people are playing catch up at this rate. But at the same damn time, they playing catch up to meet at the same destination in which I am at. But we all gonna be there, baby. The elite. Whoever that you deem to be the other side, nigga, that's just an extension of your fucking self and your internal world. The more you feel judgmental against them, the more you're judging something within yourself that you act, you deem to be evil. <laughs> nigga, I love everything about this experience because I understand to play the divine purpose, bro. To build me, shape me, and mold me to love the creator with more love than I ever could ever imagine. Authentically, unshamefully, unapologetically. But the government played a role in that. My mama played a role in that. My stepdad played a role in that. The people that didn't treat me right played a role in that. The people that treat me very horribly played a role in that. Bro, that's why I love life so much. I'm not out here acting like a little victim. Nigga, I'm out here like, man, thank you for motherfucking beating my ass, my nigga. Because if you never would have beat my ass, nigga, I never would have gained no confidence to fight another day, bro. Like, appreciate that shit, bro. Like, it wasn't as bad as I thought, nigga. Like, damn. God is every character because we're operating on a collective scale. Don't you remember? Don't you remember? 1993, they come out with R&B, bro. Everybody collectively is listening to R&B. Where the R&B go? The R&B the served the purpose of showing people how to fall in love with self. Showing people how to fall in love with self. So we fell in love with self. Then what we do as a collective? We went straight to bitch, bitch, bitch. You fucking dish, your bitch, 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 bitch. Because it showed them how to detach from self. How to literally like, yo, I'm not in no rules, though. Like, bro, we not operating on no rules, though, no possessiveness. It let us let go of that possessiveness. Now we're coming back to conscious music, bro. Being aware of self and loving thyself, bro. Understanding that you can be in love with somebody outside of self and not be possessive over them. But the music and everything else playing the fuck, play the fucking scale, bro. It played the divine purpose of getting to know thyself. The collective itself is an illusion of thyself. As long as you think anything... As long as you think victim, victimization of anything, you're living in that illusion. You are not the victim of anything because you are not the doer of this life. How are you being a victim if you're not even making your eyes blink on your own accord? How are you the victim? I would say whatever is allowing that to happen to you is feeling more of that than you will ever feel. If anything... But it's using that to transmute that shit into a deeper intellectual knowledge of itself. A deeper knowledge and knowing of itself. <sighs> now the conscious music is coming to shift the whole damn collective, bro. And I know that for a fact, bro. Music that's be a service to people. Not in a way that makes it lust over somebody. Like R&B music, talking about fucking and all that shit 24-7. That was a lustful type of way of sharing, expressing love. Chief Key come out and all that shit, talking about bitch, all that shit. That's a toxic way of expressing love. So first one was possessive. You're overly possessive. And now the next one, you're toxic. Conscious music show you how to appreciate life itself. And then you would treat the person that you are loving as an extension, a source with compassion and love and knowingness. That's the times that we're coming in right now. It's an evolution of self. 
It had to happen. People had to get lustful, bro. You had to be a pervert at one time, bro. Don't stop looking down on that shit, bro. You had to do what you did, bro. You had to watch that porn, bro. You had to do all that shit you did. You had to wear that shit out. You had to wear that shit out. Because you are a collective consciousness expanding your consciousness. You don't believe in good or evil, bad or fucking good, bro. Hell no. You had to experience that shit, bro. When it came out with that love making song as a collective, you was the one that was lustful chasing a pussy in the club, bro. But now, then when it came out with that motherfucking song as a Chief Keef, you the one that took that damn gun up in the club. Now you switched the whole identity. You went from wanting the pussy. Now the music, Rich Homie Quine, all them niggas talking that shit. Now I want to total pistol in the club. But then when you hear some damn spiritual tone or something like that, a Bob Marley or whatever like that, now you're starting to understand that the kingdom of God is within you and that whole shit was a movie that you was playing and you're not the identity of which you was experiencing but awareness itself. Bro, this shit played a divine purpose in you getting to know yourself. The government and all. For sun wouldn't feel so good if it wasn't for rain, bro. Wouldn't give a fuck about the sun, nigga. You wouldn't treat the sun with no damn type of gratitude. If you didn't experience all them winter days, bro. Them horrible days where you just were like, man, it's ucky outside. I wish it was sunny. The only reason why you wish it was sunny because you know how good that shit feel, bro, when it's not feeling like this. But if it didn't feel like this, you wouldn't, none of, you wouldn't even give a fuck. You wouldn't even say it out your mouth how good that shit feel. You would be spoiled as fuck. Nigga, this shit, huh. Every day, yeah. Every day, ah, fuck. Every day. Nigga, know when that damn rain come, you know that damn sun not every day. So you got to appreciate that shit. You be appreciating the damn rain because you be like, damn, that shit be making me fuck with the sun that much harder when that shit pop out ahead on my skin like that. It's a deeper gratitude and a deeper love for God. You can't be looking at the government and shit and be like, y'all niggas really did me dirty. Because I'm telling you, bro, that's like saying that I don't believe in God. And if your mind not that deep to think about it like that, I'm not talking to you. Because I got deep compassion and not my stay. But at the same damn time, if you're not looking at the government and the opposition that you deem to be the opposition, like an extension of God that's not aware of itself as much as you are currently right now, well, with a deep sensation of compassion and love, bro, bro, you ain't even touched into the unconditional creator that created us. For, for real. <laughs> that created your ass, bro. Everybody got skeletons in the motherfucking closet, bro. Everybody. Everybody got skeletons in the closet, bro. Tell me your deeper secret where you did some fuck shit. Yeah, bro, say that shit like, oh, that ain't as bad as that. Nigga, what? Ain't no damn scales out here. What the government did and what you did in your personal life is still fucked up, bro. In a damn sense. It's still equality. It's still going to be around the same damn... Nah, bro. Erase the whole category and just add it to them and experience of life, bro. For the government, for you, and for everybody else. Don't attach yourself to it. Experience this shit as the awareness. And, bro, I swear to God, bro, you fall more into love with yourself. And more in love with everything that's playing a role, bro. They talking about China and all that shit, bro. I'm like, this shit divine. <laughs> if any, whatever happened, what you mean it's divine, Tony? What you mean? Man, they doing some fuck. They doing, man, shut your ass up. This shit divine, bro. This shit divine. You think my God, the creator, ain't all over this shit like white on rice? Fuck you mean? My God, the creator is literally guiding all their thoughts into the collective, like from the collective realm, bro. The only reason why Putin and them niggas is even thinking thoughts is because of my God, the creator. Stop playing with my God, bro. What are you talking about? The only reason why we have GMO genetic mod uh, modified foods and shit is because of my God, the creator that put a thought in their damn head. Nigga, without that damn shit, you know that, that shit is the rain and eating the real apple is the damn sun. God is making us appreciate itself at a deeper damn level that we can ever explain, bro. But you got to be at a Buddha. You got to be Buddha, bro. You got to be Buddha. You got to be like what tone on. <laughs> you got to be like what I'm on. I'm just talking like I'm, I'm Buddha, but I came up in the Western civilization. My bad I got a little slang on that ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe if I came up in a little hut hut and shit like that and came up very fortunate as fuck. Maybe I'll be right there chilling and be like, yo, no, nigga, I came up urban as fuck. Urban and very unexpected, bro. Living with no light self, poor as fuck. And still hit the Buddha, nigga. I still hit the Buddha. <sighs> Just so I can give you my authentic version and let you know that you are soul, bro. You are soul and you will never disconnect from soul. But as long as we looking outside of ourselves in a victimizational state, bro, you judging something within yourself. You did some fucked up shit that you're still hanging on to because you would never look at the government as if they're doing something to hurt you. You would look at them like they're serving a divine purpose the same way that you look at your past. 
Because nothing is separate from you. The one that's experiencing the shit. Looking at the government. Look what y'all do to me. Man, they made you love real apples, nigga. The government made your ass go vegan, nigga. Made you love vegan. Made you relearn how to be a vegan. Maybe because your ancestors, bro, lost their way. <laughs> so God is showing you how to regain all the knowledge in which you already lost, bro. But you victimizing it off of somebody else. No, it's your fault. Everything is your fault, nigga. You want to know why? Because God makes no mistakes, bro. These people went through that. Man, God put the thoughts in their head to captivate its own consciousness, bro. To learn a deep knowledge of thyself. Because if I hold your ass here like this, nigga, you're going to feel free as fuck when I let you go, aren't you? Mmm. You're going to feel free as fuck when I let your ass go, nigga. Hold your ass here. Make you feel like you're not liberated. Yeah, nigga, where you going, nigga? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact, matter of fact. Uh, you're going to be taken off like a damn butterfly, bro. But you had to sit there and get that. You had to learn that knowledge yourself. You had to heal that pain. You had to learn what the damn life experience was all about. That it cannot be spoken but yet lived. Because when I let your ass go, you're not going to be talking about what the fuck life is about. You're going to be living. <laughs> you're going to be living. Nigga, if it's in a tent or if it's in a crib, nigga, we living. <sighs> That's what I'm saying, bro. People got they, people got their shit fucked up when it comes to being living luxur like luxurious, bro. Like living in luxury. You know what I'm saying? You come outside and you hear them birds chirping, nigga. It's, luxur it's luxurious, nigga. What fuck you talking about? I swear to God, that person over there with the nice picket fence, the big ass white house and shit, they in that type of luxury, bro, I swear to God, but you just walking outside itself, be a luxurious experience, bro, and I don't even know if I'm saying that word right, you know what I'm saying, I have, I'm going, I'm trying my best to make it to Hawaii, because I want to go backpacking in Hawaii, I want to walk around with Hawaii with a backpack on. I don't know if they don't want to allow me to do that, but I'm going to try that shit. You feel me? Because um, that's going to be luxurious. Niggas be hopping off the plane like, I need a hotel. Nigga, this whole world is your land. This whole world is your home, bro. It's your ego that's preventing you, preventing you from living a full, liberated experience. You hop off the plane, you got to have the hotel room. You got to have all that shit lined up, don't you? Why you got to do that shit when fucking mangoes grow on the trees out here? When fruit grows on the trees out here, all you got to do is have a fucking sleeper in your backpack, nigga, and take off and don't be afraid to hop in that damn waterfall and wash your balls. What the fuck you talking about? This whole land was made for you to experience, bro. And that's luxurious. Yeah. Swear to God. You be in love with God, bro. You be in love with God out here, bro. You be in love with God out here and you be seeing people say they in love with God. They only in love with a little portion. Huh. Bro, they don't be loving the full God. They be needing certain things in their life to work out. <laughs> well, I got need a million dollars, you know, and I'm manifesting a million dollars. I'm manifesting. That's what all my reflections love to do is manifest. That shit beautiful and shit, bro. But I'm going to be real, bro. I don't even got to. Because <laughs> life itself is a manifestation. <laughs> you feel me? I'm just appreciating the real manifestation that I get to fucking. Damn. And I might smoke a, I might smoke a blunt and make some weed tea. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm already on the high. And if you take my if you take my ass and put me right there by a lake, oh now I get to hear the water and I get to add it to the sensations of everything else that's being painted by my neuronic system. Now I'm rich. Money never made us rich, but we needed money to understand that it could never fulfill us. Now we're not about to have no money, fam. The economics is probably 10 times a million times about to crash. The only reason why I'm telling your ass to motherfuckers start to love yourself because when the economic crash and you don't have fucking money, are you in tune with your neuronic system to still make yourself feel rich? Because if not, you're going to have to get the fuck away from me. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to be acting like you don't have something. <laughs> Nigga, this whole time you had everything. When they take around, when they take away the economic system, where do your manifestations go? Throw them bitches in the trash, nigga. You need money to experience that shit that you thought it was them. Uh, Lamborghini, all that shit, nigga. Fuck that shit, nigga. 
It's a little toy. I wrecked that motherfucker. Just like a little toy. Because you know where my real richness come from? And I can do that shit anywhere I go. I can do that shit anywhere I go, bro. I can do that shit anywhere I go. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be having to have their Lamborghini to feel like they rich. Niggas be having to have a nice ass outfit on to feel like they rich. Niggas be like having to smell like a million dollars, bro. And if they don't have to do that, that shit kudos for them. That shit kudos. If niggas don't have to do that to feel like they're rich and they still do it anyway, cool. Cool, I fought with you. You groovy. But if niggas do it to feel a certain way, nigga, I'm just telling you, nigga, you need to go out there by a damn creek, bro. Short, short song, laugh at you. You're going to find a rich that money can't buy, bro. You're going to feel a feeling that money can't buy. Yeah. You're going to feel what money can't buy, my nigga. You're going to feel what money can't buy, bro. You're going to feel what money can't buy, bro. In this Western, in, in this whole world of the Matrix, nigga. You gonna feel that shit. That money shit gonna fall, nigga. I'm already just telling you what's gonna happen. I already can feel it in my being, bro, that we attaching ourselves to something. The last thing that's gonna make us go through a damn identity shedding phase. All they need to do now is end the money. If they end the money, then people are forced to kill their egos. <laughs> and I'm gonna be rooting for it like this. I swear to God, nigga. I swear to God. Because don't, we don't need to eat as much as we eat. We don't need to watch it, be as entertained as much as we be entertained, bro. We already fulfilled off of what we got, bro. So maybe if you take away the damn money source, and I'm talking to God right now. Maybe if you take away the damn money source, these niggas will fucking be able to understand that with you, they forever be fulfilled. They're forever full, nigga. Y'all don't need no food like that. I'm being real. <laughs> Niggas be thinking they need food and shit. No, you be full off the spirit. You ever heard it about that before? <laughs> Being full off the spirit, bro? Maybe God need a motherfucking let that shit happen, though. Kill the economic source. Kill the, kill people getting paid at their jobs just so they can quit, bro. Because niggas will work at their jobs for 100 million years, bro. If y'all stop getting paid at the job, quit that motherfucker. You got no choice but to get outside and get outside and get active. <laughs> no rules at that point, huh? That's how you supposed to be in living. <sighs> fuck you mean? No fucking rules, nigga. You ain't gonna tell me what the fuck to do because you a government. Give a fuck. Nigga, hell no. I got my own, I got my own, I take my own shits. I make sure I get food in my own stomach. Nigga, I'm not gonna motherfucking let nobody tell me what, how the fuck to live this life that I didn't ask for. You know what I'm saying? But I'm here to experience. Maybe I'm here to be on some damn, like, nigga, fuck what y'all talking about type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta work a job. You gotta do this, nigga. I'll I'll live by my I live by my means necessary, bro. Like I live with the bare minimum before I fucking be a captivated consciousness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Got me fucked up. I live bare minimum. Fuck you talking about? Like fuck you mean? I eat one meal a day until I manifest some more money. You know what I'm saying? I manifest money off me being purely authentic. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Straight up. Money got come to me about me being purely authentic, or I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I live in a damn, bro, I swear to God, bro. Because when this shit fall, I'm already going to be rich, bro. And you already going to be rich, fam. If you right there with me as a reflection, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking for you, bro. But you already going to be rich when this shit fall, bro. You're going to be like, damn, now I get to do my shit and I have no government over my back. Nigga, I've been living like that shit for the last three years, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? Everything ain't promised for me to pay my bills, nigga. I get that shit done. I ain't gonna speak that much over the damn phone. I'm gonna get that shit done the way God gives me a thought to go get it done. I'm not scared to go and exercise my thoughts. You know what I'm saying? But I told God, I said, I don't want to work in no job no more, God. God gave me a thought like, quit the job then, nigga. And trust what I got for you. I went up in there and I was like, you know what? I'm done. I walked out of that door and I was like, what the fuck I just do, nigga? <laughs> What the fuck did I just do? Still kept walking, though. Walk right into my blessing. <laughs> Liberation and freedom. Two years, bro. I swear to God, anybody can do this shit, bro. Just go up in there and be with the ride when you walk out. And I'm going to say it was easy or it was hard, nigga. I just do this shit called life. I don't put this shit on no time stamp. What the fuck? Niggas be putting this shit on a time stamp. 
I should have this by this age. You still living with your age and shit, nigga. You was only born. You was only born one time. You was only birthed one time. You only got one fucking one birthday, and that's the first day your ass was born. Stop living like you on a time step because your age they gave you, nigga. You don't know your true age, and it's time for your ass to be honest with yourself. You'll never know your true age, bro. It will always be a guess based off the collector's thought because age don't exist because you was never born. You're trying to make it make sense. And now <laughs> you're trying to make it make sense. You was never born, bro. <sighs> we celebrating. Oh, um, 24 is my birthday. 25 is my birthday. Telling our subconscious mind to hold on to age, bro. Hold on to the time scale. Hold on to the timeline. Nigga, fuck the timelines. Nigga, come to the present moment. Nigga, we trying to kill the timelines, bro. <laughs> you don't know that been the mission the whole time since consciousness gained a little bit of awareness of itself? Kill this damn timeline, bro. Like, stop this shit. <laughs> so you'll see, revo you'll see niggas reincarnate and be having this revolutionary energy. Nigga, that's because they trying to disrupt the timeline. Fuck you mean? Nigga, we already did this shit a million fucking times, nigga. Because you never can separate from consciousness. You're going to keep on coming back into the same shit that you're trying to leave and escape from. Nigga, I'm coming here to let you know that the new earth is here, bro. The timeline is being shifted. And all it takes is for niggas to leave their job that they don't fuck with and trust in God, bro. On, on everything, bro. And if this shit resonate with you and you got a little backup plan, like, man, you know what? I let go of this little car that been holding me back. I trade that car in and I get me a little car. You know, um... This little cable bill, man, fuck cable, nigga, fuck cable. You let go of some of the shit that your ego want to hold on to, you'll be able to quit that job sooner than you think. All you need is enough money to pay your bills, nigga. <laughs> a little blunt on the side, nigga. Fuck you talking about? Some Mary J. Blige or some Lauren Hill playing in the background, nigga, with some mangoes right there, bro. Nigga, that's all you need. And if the house too expensive, nigga, we looking for a new one. Fuck you mean. Nigga, fuck this job, nigga. Get that shit, get that shit, make that shit pop, nigga. Fuck you mean? I drive Uber all day before I let a nigga tell me what the fuck to do. Swear to God. I'm delivering motherfucking something. I'm being of service to something. Hey, bro, you need your grass cut? For sure. I'll cut your grass and show you the love and, like, bro, everything, bro. I'll sweep the damn motherfucking shit like that. Nigga, I'm out here trying to make something shake. I'm selling, I'm selling fucking shroom mushrooms, whatever the fuck I'm doing, bro. Pounds, I'm selling mushrooms, pounds, or whatever the fuck I'm doing. I'm being a service to the collective, bro. We're going to get high on life, nigga, or I'm going to clean your damn uh, garage, nigga. Fuck you mean. But I'm not going to be up here working in no damn system that operates on time. No, I'm living free as a motherfucking baby, bro. Like a little child that just popped out the womb. I'm going to live free as fuck. When they wake up, when the, my when my daughter wake up, my daughter don't wake up like, oh bills, bills, auntie, auntie, auntie going, uh, auntie mad, a uh, bills, my girlfriend hate me, nah, bro, I'm waking up like my baby wake up, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you feel me, bro, like, bro, for real, nigga ain't waking up thinking about no damn work, nigga, fuck you talking about, I eat one meal a day before I go and work in that bitch, hell no, hell no. Hell no. They was like, yo, Tony, what would you do if everything just fell? Nigga, then it just fall and we outside. Fuck you mean? I'm a true, I'm a true nigga to stand up for what I believe in. You think I'm going to fold because this shit fall or whatever the fuck you talking about? I'm a true believer that's going to stand up what the fuck I believe in, bro. I'm willing to die about that shit. <laughs> fuck you mean? If I'm willing to die about that shit, you think I ain't willing to sleep on the ground about that shit? You think I ain't willing to stay outside about that shit? Nigga, I'm willing to die about that shit. Nigga, I don't believe in time, nigga. So I'm not going to operate on no time schedule. The fuck? And all these niggas operate on a time schedule, nigga. Like, show up to work here. You get to take your lunch here. You get to do this here. Pay your bills or you get unhappy. I'm a true nigga that's in the phone. Nigga, fuck that cable, nigga. We're going to pay that shit next month and fuck collections, nigga. Nigga. Straight like that. And if y'all collect me too fucking much, then fuck your whole company. I'm going over here to this company. Fuck you mean? Y'all niggas ain't gonna be out here trying to yo-yo my life like I asked to come here. Like I asked to just come here and pay for everything. Fuck you talking about? Pop out the damn pussy. Your ass paying for everything, nigga, down to an apple. Man, you better be, man, you got me fucked up. They can do that shit. I'm a motherfucking live life the way I fucking want. Till I die. And you know how I'm coming. I'm being nice, I'm being sweet, I'm being loving. But most importantly, nigga, I'm going to be in tune with the most high and I'm not going to be a conformist. You know what I'm saying? 
I'm not going to be just out here conforming to shit that I know I'm better than. Like, I know I'm better than that. And why you going to work, bro? I'm better than that, bro. I'm better than operate on a time scale, bro. They can't tell me what the fuck to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, straight like that. Well, you know what? They don't tell you what the fuck to do. You're not following the nigga. That's it. I got to be an authentic representation of how you can be free like me, nigga. And maybe if you stop saying they can tell you what the fuck to do, maybe us the people will come together and create our own utopia. The fuck? And that's what we about to do. We about to create our own utopia where there is no poor societies, where there is no rich societies, where everybody understands that we have an abundance of everything, an abundance of land, an abundance of square footage, that everybody can live in their own experience in abundance, where the poor can get... Healed, bro, off their subconscious attachments. The rich, that's overly possessive. They can get healed. We are the healers of this time, bro. Fuck you mean? We the healers of this time, bro. People will come up in it. I manifested this all for myself. And uh, now the people got to gain their consciousness to manifest. Nigga, we tearing down the system that stops them from gaining consciousness. Fuck you mean? Now they have to, I manifested this all for myself. I learned about manifestation, Bob Practor. I learned about everything. Now, now I got, I deserve this for myself. Nigga, you still walking past bums every day and you trying to tell me you don't feel that? You don't feel that, nigga? There's a reason why you feeling that shit. Because maybe you supposed to get it to give it. What are you talking about? You get a million dollars, do you need that whole million for real? Nigga, why the fuck you hoarding shit? Nigga, that's the reason why we in this damn predicament in the first place. Niggas went to hoard shit. Give me a million dollars. God, hey, God, hook a boy up. I'll be waiting for it. All right, bet. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you what to do with it. I'm going to show you what to do with it. You hear me, God? Hey, yo, God. Yo, give me a million dollars. All right, bet. That's a bet. All right, yeah, I just want to I just want to show him what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to invest in every business that's going to be of service to the damn collective. You know what I'm saying? All I need is a smooth little 10 bands for my hut hut and my girls to be happy and to be fruitful of my experience in abundance. So damn, Tony, how much more you got, nigga? Like 900,000? What you gonna do with that shit? Nigga, I'm about to give it to the world. Fuck you mean? I'm about to give it to the world so we don't need this 900,000 no more. The mission is not complete until we living in a utopia. The fuck? We got free energy out here. We got free solar power energy out here. Why the fuck we ain't living for free? Nigga, I'm about to build this shit up so we can live for free. The fuck you mean? And I'm only rocking with niggas that's doing the same. So I can tear down their damn foundation. That they got a little fluky shit. Nigga, I'm not rocking with niggas. If I, if, I, if I even met a nigga that got the damn money, bro, you ain't for this collective damn talk, bro. That I'm talking about, nigga, I'm tearing down your shit without even trying, bro. I'm sorry. I ain't trying to tear down your shit, but we want community. Scoot over, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Your ass want to do your little own little shit over here. Nigga, we a community, nigga. We'll tear this, man. We need room, bro. We got little kids and shit, nigga. We don't care about your little ass up in... You just one person. Nigga, we got little kids. We got grandmas. We got uncles, nigga. You think we're going to let your building just stand up right here, bro? Your shit got to go down, bro. For the collective. Fuck you talking about? Man. We, we done with that damn money shit. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? The niggas that really get the money understand that the only way to be done with the money is to use the money efficiently. <laughs> what the fuck you mean? I make these waterways collect damn electricity, bro. I put the electricians that love to be electricians for real. I put in the real work of the damn collective, bro. And we'll create free energy out this motherfucker, nigga. Nigga, abundance of food, abundance of source. Fuck you mean? And if you want to do your own little thing, bro, you got to find that land. You got to find that shit and travel. You got to do it, nigga. We ain't going nowhere, nigga. Fuck you mean? No ass want to do that, motherfucker. Like, I be seeing niggas being their own little la-la land in the universe, bro. Like, I'm going to do this all for me, my me, my me, my kids, my kids, my kids. Nigga, I'm thinking about their kids, my kids, everybody else's kids, nigga. The fuck? Your ass over here on some damn, I'm going to do this shit for my kids, my generation. Man, take that shit on up. Find your land for do that shit then. You gonna have to find your land to do that shit. Cause we gotta heal the collective. <laughs> well, I'm on, bro. We on some shit collectively. <laughs> this nigga right here don't even know about what the hell you talking about abundantly. This nigga been too kicked down on shit by life. He needs some healing, bro. He needs a proper diet. He needs a shower. He needs some healing and he needs some unconditional love. And then I bet you won't see that same brother on the ground that you see him before once you give him all that unconditional love. But your ass wanna motherfucking just take care of your people. 
Nigga, that person on the ground is an extension of the creator. That ain't your people, the nigga. Who the hell are you? What you doing? You captivating consciousness, bro? Oh, no, we slide. <laughs> hey, yo, round up the truth. We gonna slide on this boy. <laughs> he gotta get him. We gotta get him gone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, bro, I ain't on that type of time, but you know your ass gotta find your own land and do your own thing, bro. And we ain't going nowhere to find our own land because this is our land. And it's too many of us. We need we need all we can get. We need abundance of it, bro. Hmm. That's all we own. If you're talking about, well, I need this for myself, 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 then you and yourself can take you and your feet and go find that shit. Because this land is God's land. And God operate in abundance of all things. Everything is the reflection of the most high. That's how we operate. We operate off of God's rules, not your rules, nigga. We don't give a fuck about what you want, nigga. We operating off the collective message, not what your ass is thinking about. What the fuck you thinking about, nigga? We operating off the collective message. Your ass operating off of ego. The fuck? You thinking like, oh, it's me, 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 me. I'm thinking of, oh, I'm an extension of everything. I want me to feel good. Yeah, but I feel good when you feel good. You feel good when I feel good. I feel good when you feel good. We feel good together. You know what I'm saying? You want some shit where I feel good. I manifest. I manifest. I manifest. I manifest. What I do? I do. I manifest. But that shit don't feel good. You in your own little universe of thinking you feel good. I'm about to end this whole shit. I'm about to bring equality to the forefront, nigga. That's how I manifest. I speak equality, bro. I don't want to see another poor person again because there's no such thing as that type of scale, type of system. The money, we don't do money no more. We do trust funds, bro. You put in with the community, you get a meal for the night. The fuck you talking about? That's your true work. You work for the community. The fuck you mean? Or you you don't get a meal for the night. The fuck you talking about? The fuck you mean? We all work in the community garden. We all work for the dent. We all clean the waterways. We all work on the solar power. We all clean the community and keep the community clean. Or you don't be here. The fuck you mean? You go. You can always go and venture out into the world and do your own thing. But as of right now, right here, we're operating in the damn interconnectedness and not contradicting consciousness being a part of itself. Like, bro, hell no, nah, bro. We're going to operate as a community, bro. Fuck you mean? Community gardens, solar powers on every house. Nobody got to pay a bill again. Say, say goodbye to fucking bills, nigga. Say hello to fucking waking up in the rising and being like, I'm happy to be alive. You know what I'm saying? Waking up in the rising thinking like, man, I got to get it. I got to be a goal chaser. I got to go do my goals and do this shit. Nigga, damn, you ain't even say I'm happy to be alive before you did push-ups, nigga. Shut up. Doing push-ups for your ego before you even say you happy to be alive, nigga. What the fuck? I'm waking up in the rising like this. Look at that. Like, nigga, I'm out here going crazy, bro. Literally. Ego dying every time I speak out my mouth of authenticity, bro. Niggas would be like, wake up, I gotta go to work. Wake up, gotta do push-ups. Wake up, gotta text my girlfriend. Wake up, gotta make sure she likes me. Did she like my picture? Did she like my... Man, I'm waking up like, bro, I'm alive, nigga, again? They done fucked up. <laughs> I made it another day here, bro. I thought I was gonna go ahead and go back to my creator, bro. I can do that shit at any second. I'm just waiting death in excitement. You know what I'm saying? I'm wanting to see what it feels like to return back to my creator without the illusion. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn, what if I'm not going to return back to my creator like from another extended point? What if this whole place become a utopia of community and that be me with my creator right there? I like that. I like that. So, God, what's up? You heard me? Yeah, nigga. Watch out my way, nigga. Yeah. It's like I'm playing. <laughs> nah, bro. On God, though. I want to be around my people. I want to love my people. You know what I'm saying? I want my people to love, you know what I'm saying? I want to love my people and my people love the trees. And the trees be considered a people. I don't want to separate all these living beings from damn humans ever again, bro. I don't want to do that shit no more, bro. Mm-mm. Nah. We be over there looking at birds like they birds, looking at animals like they animals. No, they part of the community, nigga. Chill. You can't kill a bird around me. You can't kill an animal around me. You better chill your ass out, you little happy ass little. Sit your ass down and meditate, boy. We're going to get that right. We're going to get that out your system. What made you want to go over there and hit that bird like that? Oh, that bird, man? I don't know, man. What thought come in your head that made you want to hit that? I just thought about hitting the bird. You got to learn how to not attach yourself to every single thought and use your damn discernment. 
See how I'm talking to niggas in the community? Bro, you got to learn how to motherfucker use your damn discernment, bro. Or we get your ass out of here for doing some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because that bird deserves to live a long life on how long the creator wants it to live. You're not going to be God out here. The fuck you mean? Thinking you can go over here and just kill a bird and end its lifespan because you got the power to captivate its consciousness, thinking. You know, that shit's sick. But we can heal that shit today. You know, you are perfect, bro. You can heal that shit today. I can heal that shit with you. I probably got a little bit in my system. Let's sit right here and meditate. You feel me? We're going to get some watermelon after this shit. We're going to sit right here and meditate and just let ourselves know how much love we are, how much we love everything. You know what I'm saying? Let's do a little meditation, bro, a little five minute. Sit down, meditate with my brother in the community. We ain't got to even talk about this to nobody else, nigga. We ain't even kill a bird around me, nigga. Let's not speak it. Let's act like it never existed, nigga. I don't want you to say you sorry to me. Who the fuck am I? I'm not your guy. I want you to understand the balance of my yachts. I want you to live in the balance of my yacht, nigga. <laughs> and don't disrupt that. Fuck you talking about, nigga. That's all I'm saying, bro. You killing birds is disturbing the peace inside of me, nigga. Fuck you mean. Don't be out there saying I'm sorry to you because you you don't got a couple more chances to say sorry, nigga. You go out here just killing birds on a killing bird spree. You gonna know that your sorry didn't mean shit to me, nigga. I'ma still toss your ass out in attachment, bro. I ain't doing certain shit, bro. Everything deserves to live a long life around me, bro. And I deserve to live. I deserve to choose my destiny of just living with my damn, what the, the collective consciousness got planned for me, bro. What it's already premeditating, bro. It already wants us all to be together. We're all separate as fuck. We all need to come together. You know what I'm saying? If we come together and stop supporting people that uh, damn promote separatism, bro, maybe we'll all come together quicker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If we start supporting people that motherfucking support the motherfucking people that support people, yeah, bro, we'll see what the fuck we come out of the collective, bro. It's going to happen inevitably, bro. I'm just speaking into the damn moment. I'm speaking into the moment. That's all that's happening. It's already happening. I'm just speaking into the moment, bro. I ain't got shit else to do but to talk to God and rejoice God and tell God, like, yo, I'm fucking grateful for the plan that's coming to be. I'm grateful for the plan that's coming to be. I see what's happening. Economic about to fall. We about to go off trust funds. We about to be out here in the damn community shit. Niggas up there looking at world end. The world end. We about to heal your little scary ass. <laughs> little scary ass. We about to heal your ass, bro. You good? Because you, you with a nigga that really is sure of himself. You know what I'm saying? I'm really sure of myself. You feel me? And I know you're going to be okay because I made it. So if you with me, you got a good friend, nigga. And you got a million more of us, bro. You got a million more of us, bro. We ain't scared for shit. You know what I'm saying? This whole world can fold right now. Niggas ain't scared for shit, bro. Fuck you mean? We here for your scary ass. I'm playing, bro, but I love you. But you acting a little bit too out of character right now, God. <laughs> but so, chill your ass out. Oh my God! No more, no more, no more brownies. Shut your ass up, man. No more brownies. Nigga, you ain't need no move by planting our own food, bro. Chill. No more brownies at all, nigga. We ain't bringing brownies to this new earth utopia. The fuck? Some shit gotta get. You wanna go to the matrix, bro? They right over there trying to rebuild their shit. They over there trying to think that they need to live in that world. Take your ass on over there, bro. I kick your ass in the booty, bro. Get your ass gone. You know what I'm saying? I'd never miss you a day in my fucking life. I swear. Uh, but I'd rather you be real with me. Be real with me and tell me that you still like that damn Matrix shit. Tell me that you like that Matrix shit so I can, like, not have to kick your ass out. So I can just walk you to the door and dap you up like a man, bro, and be like, yo, that's that's real shit, though. Hey, yo, come over here if you ever feel like you need to just be a part of the collective again because, you know, you shall return to what you came. You can go live in your illusion if you want to, but we'll always be here for you. But if your ass up in there just trying to shut the peace on them, like, get, get kicked in your booty, bro. You're going to get kicked in your booty, bro. And I ain't going to have to do it, bro. That dude right there does kickboxing. You think my ass going to be the one that does it? Nigga, we got niggas up here to do kickboxing and all kinds of shit. I'm like, bro, he going to want to kick you in your booty. And they going to be like, I'm going to kick him in his booty, Thorn. You get the fuck out of here, man. I'm like, bro. I'm like, yo, chill. You ain't got to kick him in his booty like that. Let like, get the fuck out of here, man. We one love, man. I'm like, oh, damn. I'm like, shit. what he say? Go kick him in his booty then, bro. Fuck it. He acting like that, bro. Kick him in his booty then. That's what you do for a living. It's like, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm on, some real, on some real talk, though, fam. That's, what we coming to, that's what's coming to happen, bro. That's what's happening right now. The economic and all that shit, I wouldn't be surprised if niggas start losing jobs left and right because they don't got money to pay niggas. You know what I'm saying? When they start doing that, that's when you tighten your ass up and start fasting. 
start really falling. In, you should be doing this shit already. But I'm going to go ahead and just tell you what to do, bro. Like, fast, bro, and fall in love with the creator, bro, and tell the creator to come and cover your life, bro. fuck you talking about? Man. Don't be calling your sisters in them crib and scared now. You bitching now, nigga. Nah, you motherfucking stay in that damn path of abundance, bro, like you was talking. Niggas be being just feeling like they're abundant because they see what's in front of them, bro. I feel abundant when I'm just outside sitting in front of the sun. It's a difference. I don't need none of this worldly shit. You know, I take a shit right there by the lake, nigga. Wipe my ass in the damn lake, bro. What fuck you talking about? I'm thankful for just being able to motherfucking have a toilet. You know what I'm saying? Have some toilet paper. You know what I'm saying? But I don't need that shit. The fuck you talking about? I'm a wild man. I was a wild man before I civilized myself, nigga. You better understand my true ancestral rights, bro. You better understand my ancestors, bro. You better understand my ancestors, bro, because I am the descendant of which, bro. I swear to God. I swear to God. Wipe my booty right in the motherfucking lake, nigga. What fuck you talking about? Let them cops motherfucking leave and go back to where they came, bro. Yeah, bro. Cops got a motherfucking hill, too. I'm waiting for y'all cops to motherfucking back. I'm quitting this job, bro. We about to see cops quitting their jobs, bro. Cause the rules gotta leave, bro. The belief system's gonna fall, nigga. I'm the authentic expression of which. I don't got no damn astrology or nothing going on with me. Nigga, I'm talking this shit from the creator channeling out my mouth. Bro, this shit going, this shit done. New Earth is here. You see me high off life, baby, I can't make this up. If you ain't feeling the same, I'm gonna heal your ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I'm gonna heal your ass by just being authentic, bro. But if you ain't feeling the same, you gonna feel the same. You're going to feel the same. It's inevitable. Stick around a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Start loving yourself. Every time you get on the live, love yourself a little more than what you loved yourself before, bro. Just know I'm a reflection of you and I'm a glitch in your matrix. And we're going to get your ass unplugged by just loving life. You know what I'm saying? Never going to close the door on nobody, bro. But if your ass ain't feeling this shit, bro, and you don't want to feel it or you think I'm crazy or something, I'm going to give your ass more shit to see when I feel like it. I'm going to entertain your ass. Show you how much this shit is really a game, bro. This shit is a game of life, bro. You can do what the fuck you want. You can post what the fuck you want. You can say what the fuck you want. You can do what the fuck you want. If niggas don't like it, then they pull the strings. And then you still doing what the fuck you want. The fuck? Hey. You can duct tape my mouth and I still can. <laughs> Nigga, as long as I can do that shit, I'm still doing what the fuck I want. Man. Shit. I'm a truly liberated individual. You throw me in the jungle, I really gonna make that shit home. <laughs> I'm that I'm a master alchemist. You throw me in the jungle, I'ma make that shit home. If I throw another nigga in the jungle, he get too emotional, attached to his emotions and his comfort zone. He be like, I can't wash my ass with no leaf, nigga. No, bro. But what, 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 what if what if what if nigga it's getting dark? Shut your ass up, nigga. Hurry up and wash your ass, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Then when the whole economic fall, bro, it's gonna be really groovy on some shit. If you can't do shit split time without using your damn ego, bro, your ass might might go down crazy, bro. And I ain't gonna be there to help your ass either. That's too much shit for me. Might go down crazy, bro. Can't even wipe your damn ass on a damn leaf. Nigga, what else your ass ain't gonna be able to do? You hindering my journey. You're slowing me down. You're too egotistical. Nah, somebody else watch this damn nigga. I'm not his babysitter. <laughs> He can die right now. I really don't give a fuck, bro. Like, I'm not his babysitter. That's how we moving, bro. I'm not moving with no egotistical fucks. I'm only moving with God, bro, because that's the only thing that's going to build new earth. You feel me? We're going to have to rebuild new earth. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have to build new earth, bro. We're going to have to build new earth. So if somebody egotistical around you, watch how you just got this feeling in your heart to just be like, I'm not, I don't want to be around you, bro. Because they cannot benefit new earth. They would not benefit New Earth. They will only come in there with the same construct that they captivated consciousness and try to build off of that. They will not motherfucking come up in the New Earth with your same one consciousness, love. So why the fuck are you letting them trail your ass with their scary ass energy all the way to the damn promised land? Nigga, you got to be able to kick their ass off the damn mountain or something, bro. You got to do you gotta do what the fuck you got to do. I'm like, bro, if God put it in your heart, you got to do it. God might not put it in your heart. God might not put it in my heart. But if God put it in my heart, nigga... You go over there tripping the whole damn journey. 
You crying about your damn mama and them to die and shit like that. Bro, when I told your ass, bro, if God put it in my heart, nigga, that I cannot carry on with your ass, your crybaby ass right there beside me because you're not attached, oh, God, I will be happy to remove you out of my motherfucking life, bro. Oh, God. I like being around detached motherfuckers, bro. I like being around detached motherfuckers, bro. You got to be really detached to be around me because I understand when you detach, you are operating from the soul within the body and you are not sticking to the damn identity so you can help new earth really evolve, bro. If you super attached, bro, then you taking all that shit and you going to be projecting that shit unconsciously, bro. And, that, and I might have some divine shit to do. I might have to learn how to build or something. I might have to learn how to motherfucking... Surviving in the damn wilderness or something because the economic system didn't crash. So I got to learn how, a whole new organic way of living. I ain't got time for somebody missing the matrix around me when the shit's falling. Shit falling faster than I can even expect, bro. This shit is really falling on some motherfucking shit where it's like, it's shit beautiful. It's shit beautiful, bro. I've been waiting for it, bro, for damn four years. But the economics crashing, Britta and Ru Britain and Russia just now signed a damn bill on a new economic money. I'm like, yes, America needs to fucking heal. <sighs> we need to be a third world country type shit, nigga. Because y'all niggas be too there that y'all like y'all's clean shit. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas is already thugging with me. Some niggas are not ready. They're not ready. And I'm just going to laugh. I, can, I can't help it because you're taking life too serious. Can't help it, bro. I'm going to heal whoever needs to be healed. But if I'm not supposed to be doing no healing because the person's stuck in their own illusion, oh, America going to get a wake-up call, bro. You know it's on the way. Oh, God. <laughs> America don't even have no economic resource backbone no more. Bro, we're about to feel it. And there's some niggas out here like, yeah. And then you got other niggas. What am I going to do without my job? I'm not sure. Your job been stressing you out for your whole damn life. You tripping now? Nigga, you ain't got no landlord to come collect bills no more, nigga. You better stand on your shit, nigga. Stand on your shit. It's my house now. <laughs> it's my house now. Oops. Oops. It's my house now. Come and get it. Come get this house if you want to. It's my house now. Fuck you mean? Stop being a little scaredy cat. Shit, die for something. Nigga be out there tripping, bro. I know niggas won't die for that shit, but I die for that shit. It's my house now, bro. They kicked me out of the job. You can't work a job no more. Like, I ain't asked for that shit. Now y'all telling me to stress about that shit? Nigga, this is my This is my house now, nigga. This is my house now. Landlord come. Hey, I don't pay rent no more. Yeah, you do. Shit, ask that to my whole community up in this motherfucker. We ain't paying rent. This is our house. Y'all not going to keep on stressing us as a community, bro, when we're trying to live our best fucking life in simplicity. Y'all got me fucked up. It's our house. I manifested this motherfucker. I don't pay bills no more. How you figure that? Nigga, y'all stop paying me at work. Fuck you mean? Oh, shit. Nigga, I was doing my job, nigga. Do y'all's job, nigga. Shit, this is my house now. And this is my house. Fuck you mean? And get the fuck off my porch, nigga. Hey, bro. This is my, we the people, bro. I'm tired of that shit, bro. I'm tired of that shit, bro. We the people, bro. I got that real energy inside of me. Shit, this is my house, nigga. We the people, bro. Fuck you mean? You know what I'm saying? I don't pay bills and shit, nigga. I don't pay bills, nigga. When the economic crash, you can't even pay the people to keep your lights on. <laughs> Nigga, this whole shit free, nigga. You better go to your house. Where your house at? Go claim your house, nigga. Go claim your house, bro. Because this my house. This is my family's house, bro. If you come here and try to infiltrate, then I will act as if it's being infiltrated. Nigga, <laughs> the fuck, what, what cops you going to call? They quit their jobs. Nobody paying their ass. They don't have a job to work. And they, they not, unless that motherfucking banjo is really working in their system. If that shit, if that damn... If they robots, they just robots. Fuck them. You know what I'm saying? I swear to God, if that motherfucking banjo, if niggas didn't took that damn banjo, and niggas is still working their job because they systematically inputting the damn shit, and nanobots running through their damn shit, controlling their psychological state, 
and they never broke free from that because you can break free from that by just believing in God, bro, and trusting the sort divine source. If you still divine, bro, hell no. I can't see a nigga still working for the system with all this love coming through the solar power energy, bro, through the solar flares, bro. Through all that sun, that sun radiation that it's giving off. I can't see nobody still working for the system when the sun is the projector. You know? Hell no. Hell no. Fuck the system, bro. The system's falling. Start to love yourself. Stop loving money. Understand that everything is abundance, and abundance is not a word that materializes itself. It's just money. You know what I'm saying? Abundance is... How many times do you breathe in a day? Do you ever count how many times you fucking breathe in a day? That's a true abundance number, man. That's how truly abundant you are. That's how truly abundant you are. And then when they tear down this whole damn world, you know what ain't gonna go down? You know what it's still gonna be out here motherfucking shining? You know what's gonna be shining more than ever? Cause they don't have motherfucking any electricity device to put them whatever the fuck they be putting in the sky? That sun gonna be right there for you. Don't you damn forsaking that shit. You better go outside and be like, thank you. Thank you, bro. Because that's God in the sky, nigga. And it's time for us to collective to realize the true God here in this experience, bro. Right there in the motherfucking sky, nigga. We've been ignoring it for all this damn time, but there's a reason why ancient Comet looked up in the motherfucking sky and was like, yo, that's God right there, bro. That's the reason why all them damn ancients, bro, they felt like the damn sun had some, like, some significance in this experience. Nigga, it's, the project it's your soul. As within, so without. That sky is your soul. What is your soul? God, my nigga. You are a soul inside of a body. <sighs> Once you get in tune with that damn sun, nigga, fuck this matrix, nigga. Wherever that sun goes, I shall flow with it, bro. I follow the sun, bro. If it's from here to the damn west side, nigga. We're here to there, nigga. We are the land walkers, bro. We roam the lands. We don't stay in one spot, bro. Fuck you mean? We following that sun around, bro. We following the creator, bro. We following the Tao. You know what I'm saying? We following the Tao, bro. And I love you so much, Reflection. You know what I mean? Be your authentic self. Be your true self. Be your heel inner child self, nigga. That shit gonna set you free. That shit gonna set you free every time. It's gonna get people out of your life that don't need to be there. And you're not going to be heartbroken by it because you're going to be in alignment. When you're in alignment, you don't feel all the other emotions and register with them like you used to, bro. You just do whatever's meant for you and what's right for you. You feel me? And because you know that you are a God experiencing itself. So why wouldn't you do shit that make you feel happy, that make you feel in alignment, that make you feel in tune with yourself? Some people might not agree with that shit, but who gives a fuck? Their outer entities divinely tested it, let you love yourself more, bro. They're serving a divine purpose. Maybe this person got to tell you not to believe, to believe in yourself. Just so you can believe in yourself behind closed doors with that person in mind. Every time you think about that person, that person is resembling a certain type of thought, like certain type of thought that makes you want to be confident because they don't believe in you. You know what I'm saying? So now when you go behind closed doors, you think about that person, which makes you work on your purpose. Everything serves a divine purpose, man. Even the people that's not in agreement with you. So it's very important that you be your authentic self so you can attract abundance, pure abundance through your neuronic system. Literally talking to the God, which is your subconscious mind, consciously. Everybody has a masculine and divine feminine within them. The conscious is the divine masculine. The subconscious is, the, is God, the divine feminine, bro. Every time you speak out of your mouth, it's a new experience for the subconscious mind to experience a breath of fresh air of itself. So if you be authentic and true to yourself in this experience, you are creating a divine relationship within your, your universal experience. We are all just little spectacles of what's happening on the big ass universal span. The universe is in a damn relationship with itself, creating a separate entity of damn love to love. It's like the ocean is in a relationship with Mother Earth, nigga. <laughs> the galaxy is in a relationship with motherfucking damn. The light is in a relationship with the dark. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. And then when we think about little old you, like, nigga, no, you are mimicking what's happening universally. But the universe exists within you. Inside of you is a whole fucking universe, nigga, because this shit is an illusion. And your conscious mind is really in relationship, it's really in a damn relationship with your damn subconscious mind. So all the divine masculine, y'all are conscious beings that, if you want to put it all in mind, and your woman is your intuition, your subconscious. 
That's why. That's the reason why she's not going out here and seeking the information like you, because you are the conscious expansion. And you bring back her, back to her the goody goodies, and she confirmed that shit with her intuition being God. So everybody that wants to know their true divine purpose in life, nigga, like, bro, how do you be feeling on the inside? Where your energy lies when it comes to divine masculine and feminine, bro? Wherever that shit lies, you can be of service by just being your authentic version of that. Every day you wake up, be your authentic version of your whatever that you be feeling, bro. Don't deem yourself to be evil. Don't deem yourself to be good either. You're not good or you're not bad. You're just the experience of the divine creation that lives within you, bro. So you can really serve a purpose, nigga. If I get, if people be like, oh, Tony, he's Mr. Positive, Mr. Peace, Peace, Loving, Peace, 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 Peace. Then when you see me do some other shit, they're like, oh, I thought you were this identity. No, don't let people put you in no box no more, bro. Identity is very unpredictable. Nigga, you know that, right? I might eat vegan all fucking week, and then next week I'm eating nothing but fried oyster mushrooms, nigga. Fuck you talking about? I do what the fuck I want because I understand the truth of balancing myself. Not staying in the crown chakra, but not abandoning my root chakra. Not abandoning my root chakra and not staying in the... I understand the balance of it, nigga. I understand, I understand the importance of being spontaneous. You got to set yourself off your own paradigms, bro. You got to do some shit that throws yourself off. You know what I'm saying? Eat a damn cookie or something, bro. <sighs> With some sugar in that shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to balance this shit out so you can receive the true downloads. Once you unlock all your chakras, they're not going to lock back up as long as you keep them all balanced, bro. But you can't get stuck in stagnant energy within a chakra, bro. You be so much in your damn heart center that your ass ain't going to know when to shut the door in a motherfucking nigga's face. Maybe if you go down to your solar plexus of your confidence energy, bro, you're going to shut that damn door and be like, nigga, stop this. I'm making music today. Fuck you mean. <laughs> How you talking about? Go in your crown chakra right when they leave and be like, why did you do that to me? Your crown chakra going to help you detach to understand that you didn't do nothing to nobody. <laughs> there is no nobody to do anything to. Fuck you mean. It's called keeping your chakras balanced and in alignment, bro. You have to. You drop down to the root chakra first, bro, to understand like you can't die. And then it get groovy after that. You start unlocking chakras effortlessly. Going vegan, really caring about your gut health. Bro, that all ties down to a chakra, bro. But then everything else is a phase of you that was operating in a certain chakra that you got to bring to the center and be like, yo, it's okay for you to be yourself. You want a sugar cookie today? Nigga, that's a phase of you that used to overindulge in sugar cookies. Nigga, you can't at least give your damn self one sugar cookie, motherfucker. For that phase of self that like the sugar cookies. You know you about to be a vegan all fucking week, nigga. You gotta you gotta keep yourself in balance and in alignment so you don't be walking out here like a motherfucking Christ of damn Yahshua damn times a million. Nigga. Oh wait, don't eat the sugar cookie because it's an illusion. Shut the fuck up. Nigga, too serious, bro. Damn. You make my motherfucking you make my motherfucking whole body cringe up like what you say? Nigga, the fuck, nigga? Damn, nigga, hell no. Loosen your ass up, nigga. That bag of chips look good today, nigga. I'm going to eat that bag of chips because I feel like it. The fuck? I don't need to hear about the whole backstory on the bag of chips. Shut the hell up. You know what I'm saying? Give me the whole damn backstory. Like, I didn't do all my divine work by myself, nigga. I know this shit is GMO. I know whatever the fuck you know. I know all that you know, more than you know, probably. Shut the hell up. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I'm trying to keep my chakras balanced. Nigga, the fuck? I know this shit, but damn, why would I eat this shit and be like, bad for me, bad? It's just bad, bad, bad. I'm not doing that shit, nigga. If I eat that damn chip, nigga, I'm eating it because it tastes good. So I'm gonna be like, oh, okay, hold on, bro. I'm gonna be up there making different type of noises and eating that shit and having love, making love with it. For I understand it's a universal experience of my taste buds enjoying itself. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, I'm going to go eat me a damn mango or something and, and just moderate. I do what the fuck I want, bro. Because that keep my that keep my chakras balanced, bro. That keep my chakras balanced. I'm not going to overindulge in nothing. Sure. And I'm going to do certain things more than I do. Like if I eat fruits, bro, I'm going to eat more fruits than usual. You know what I'm saying? But damn, if I see a damn sugar cookie on the motherfucking counter, and my damn intuition be like, nigga, yeah, you know your old little kid self will eat that sugar cookie like a motherfucker and just smush, smush, smush. 
Nigga, I pick that shit up and be like, hop, slop, slop, slip. Well, I'll be out there making the stupidest sounds. You should see me. I be sounding like a little kid. You know what I'm saying? For real. Love your life experience. Don't let these people put you in a damn spiritual conscious box. Because when they put you in that spiritual conscious box, y'all niggas be sounding like y'all damn stuck up here. And y'all be leaving y'all's heart center and all that shit. Like, y'all be doing all that shit. You know what I'm saying? That was me. I'm talking to the old version of me too, nigga. I used to do the same shit, nigga. It's okay to chill now. You done learned the lesson. You done did it. You can go back to living life and hopping on the swings, nigga. You can go and enjoy your ice cream with your daughter, bro. That's your daughter, bro. You can enjoy your ice cream. I don't care if it got sugar in it, nigga. It's an ice cream with your daughter, bro. You need to hear this. I know you do. I needed to hear this, nigga. Nobody told me, nigga. They didn't have the balls. And I'm having the balls to tell you that life is not meant to be a feel like a test. You have learned every lesson. Now your new experience of learning is living your life and learning that ah, the fire is hot. Through my sensations, I learned that. You're gonna learn by living life now. You had to do all the deep diving, bro. I think I think you know better than to eat 50 million cookies, don't you? <laughs> I think you know better than to eat like. 10 chicken legs and all this other shit, don't you? I think you know that high vibrational foods are fruits and veggies, bro. So if you ever want to get in alignment with a certain chakra, you know exactly what to start eating on, don't you? Live your fucking life, fam. Live your life. You know what I mean? I love y'all so much. I'm going to post this live. I'm going to holler at y'all. I'm going to go experience my loves. And shit, I'm going to have a great ass day. I'm supposed to go get a bike, dude. I don't like to be riding that shit like this. Nigga, I'm going to be gone, bro. I'm going to be gone, bro. And you can't never beat me in a bike. Don't ever think you can. And it would never happen. They be like, Tone, why you always make everything a competition? I swear I don't be meaning that shit. But it makes everything funner, bro. I just beat your ass, left you in the dust, nigga. What the fuck you mean? Why you attached to me beating your ass and leave you in the dust? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? It's like I'm playing with y'all, fam. Have a great day. I'm about to go watch My Hero Academia. Anime rules. Peace out.